brushing my teeth. Look at you. You got toothpaste on your face. Look at that. Yeah. Here, move your, this is why move I have to clean the bathroom every week. That is why you have to clean. Because you have to clean the bathroom every week because this guy gets toothpaste everywhere. <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, tell everyone how I messy... Let's start the live stream again. Hey, focus. Tell everyone how messy of an eater are you. I messy like fifty nine percent or maybe seventy five. Like Dagny's messy eating is like this ain't about your cousin. This is about you. Hundred and ten. This is yeah, but she's one. You're almost six. Dagny's one. Oops. Dagny, you're not. Are you Dagny? <laughs> are you your cousin? No. no. Okay, so uh, today um, I wanted to have some special guests. I wanted to have some special guests here. This one is very wiggly. He's not usually on camera, and so he's super excited. So I'm I'm holding him here. But I still have the live stream. No, you have the autofocus. He's got the autofocus box on him, and he's very happy about that. So, Lancey. Lance, listen, listen. I wanted to talk about your chores today. Can you explain a little bit about what kind of chores you do? I asked you a question. Um, my chore, my money chores that I do every week is doing the dishes. That is just super fun. Slow I'm down, super excited because I'm. Cause in in five more days I'm getting another Mario Lego set. And it's super and, exciting. And why are you getting a Mario Lego set? Like what what's allowing because you? Because I because I really, really want it. No, that's not how this works. How are you getting it? Um, You're doing your by, chores. By do by spending my money on it oh. and saving my savings. How and how much money do you earn? By doing your chores, four dollars. And right now, I have four dollars. Ha how often? Every um, what? Two weeks. Oh, you get paid every two weeks, and you get four dollars. Yeah. How and much money do you have right now? Fifty-two, and and, and I have to pay the the ta the tax and get my King Boo in the Haunted Yard set. So and that costs. And my King Boo in the Haunted Yard set costs cost fifty dollars and fifty dollars. Wow! Yeah, and and to pay the tax, it costs you five dollars. And so so for that, you would you would have to have either fifty six or that. So that would cost fifty five bucks. Fifty-five bucks. So, um, just uh, just a quick recap for those of you who don't speak five-year-old. Calm down. Hey, calm down. I'm just trying to get comfortable on your lap. I know. I know. You're like, trying to get comfortable now. Now, stop. I'm trying to be comfortable too. So, uh, in case you don't speak five-year-old, uh, going on six-year-old. Uh, so he has uh, weekly chores. Both of these kids have chores actually, and they earn a. A, a little bit of an allowance, and um, yeah. we wanted to start doing that because. Uh, hey, <laughs> can you sit nicely? Otherwise, I'm going to ask you to go. Okay. Okay. Put your tongue away. <laughs> okay. Um, so we decided to do that because we wanted. Um, okay, you can go. Bye. I'll sit here with your sister now. Um, we decided to do that because we wanted to, um, one, encourage them to do their chores and get them excited about it. I know some folks kind of uh, look at that like, oh, their chores, they it should have intrinsic value. And, but little kids don't really think that way. You know, they don't, they don't really put the value on, you know, having a clean house. I mean, think about when you were a kid, you know, you can live in just a god awful mess, right? Because it doesn't register in your head that, oh, yeah, I'm living in this huge mess. I mean, your your bedroom, most of the time is just atrocious. 
because of all the toys. What does atrocious mean? What does it sound like? Um, annoying? Your, be- your bedroom is really annoying because there's toys all over? Um, it's, it's mess? A mess, just scary, just disgusting, awful. Hot mess? Hot mess, yes. Thank you. Good, good word. Um, yeah, their bedroom's a hot mess most of the time because they put their toys everywhere and then they have to clean it up and it's just, it's, it's just really gross, but they don't mind. They don't notice it all the time. Um, so there's the intrinsic value of cleaning up is just, it's kind of non-existent at that age. You know, the parents go around and say, you know, this is awful. Your, your, your room is a pigsty. This house is a mess. And the kids are like, okay, I guess, what are you talking about? Um, so what we try and do is, uh, give them a little extrinsic value. Um, and what I really wanted to do is associate their work, their labor with some sort of material reward. Um, and, uh, so far that's working because the last week, pretty much the last several days, my son, before I even get up, right before I'm even out of bed, my son is up and he's putting away any dishes. He's, he's loading up the dishwasher because that's his job is to do the dishes. This morning he loads the dishwasher up and is already running it by, before I even get out of bed this morning, um, which is incredible. Like, and that's exactly what we wanted. And the reason he's doing that uh, is because he has his mindset on a, um, a particular Lego set. Um, and he's been uh, really into the Super Mario Legos uh, sets. There's the the King Boo's Haunted Mansion or Haunted something. King Boo and the Haunted Yard. Oh, King, sorry. King Boo and the Haunted Yard. Um, I'll put an affiliate link below if, if you want, if you want to check that out. Um, so he's really been into the Mario Legos and um, he's actually saved up and bought a few of his own sets. He's, he's got a lot for gifts and stuff, but he's saved up and bought some of his own sets with his own money. Um, and that's the second lesson that uh, I wanted to teach my kids is um, setting goals and saving up for something that you want to buy. You know, it feels those of us who are adults, we know that it feels really good when you um, when you save up and you hit that goal and you go out and you you spend your own money on something. Um, the level of satisfaction and appreciation you get um, by doing that, it's it's just so unlike just going out and getting that instant gratification and someone else buying something for you. It's, it, it feels really good, you know, having that. And I want my kids to uh, have that sort of feeling as well. What are your chores? What do you are, what are you responsible for? I'm responsible for get, for doing the cleaning the kids bathroom, which is also, which guests also use and de- dusting the house. So, yep. So I'm using the money. I'm tr- I'm setting a goal for two hundred dollars and whatever the ta- tax is to get the Switch Lite. Yeah, she wants. Uh, she's been looking at the Nintendo Switch Lite um, as a goal, and that's a much bigger goal. I think uh, the little one his thing costs about $50 and uh, this one, she wants to uh, spend around $200, right? Is mm-hmm. that how much that costs? Yeah. About $200. Um, and the tax. Plus the tax. Yeah. And I think the agreement was if you were to save up for that, then I would buy you a video game to go along with it. Cause they don't come with video games. Yeah. You have to buy them by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I'm just, I'm just really happy that they're setting goals. Cause you know, that's something that I did when I was growing up, you know, I would sit there and I'd count my money and I'd, I'd think about, uh, something that I wanted and it would take me weeks to save up sometimes months to save up for something. Um, and I was also a big video game player. So, you know, I saved up and bought my super Nintendo, my N64, several other things, um, and setting those goals and saving up money 
Um, it, just that satisfaction you get is, is so valuable. Um, so for these chores that these kids do, you know, they're, they're young, especially the little one. He's, he's almost six years old, but he's been doing the dishes for the last several months now. Um, obviously there's some things that he can't do that are, that are a little bit too heavy. Um, and so I take care of those things or something that goes on a high shelf that he can't put away. <laughs> Sometimes he tries to lift heavy pots, um, but he is getting better at it. Um, and we started off with, um, we started off with little things. When we first started doing the dishes, I was doing most of it, but then I would take out, uh, the, um, I would take out like the, the kids silverware and the kids cups and plates. Cause we store those in a drawer down low. And, um, I would just have him put that stuff away. Like that was, that was dishes. You know, he's helping me with dishes. I'm taking most of it out. He's just putting a few things away. And then we um, started working our way up to, I'm showing him how to load up the dishwasher. And, um, you know, other people, like, uh, other people, guests and, and folks in this house, they don't load the dishwasher the way I like. So I just end up doing it. What's up? Before Lance had the dishes job, he he had to sweep the floor for 50, 50 or 15 cents. No, we never did that. Oh. Yeah. She likes to make up things. No. And numbers. No. Yeah, you do make up your own numbers. Well, well <laughs> I do remember Lance's job used to be sweeping the, the ki kitchen floor. We'll, we'll tell her things. We'll tell her things like, She'll, she'll be like, oh, yeah, how long is this going to take in the oven? And we're like, oh, it's it's going to take like 40 minutes. And then she'll be like, or maybe like two hours or five hours or seven no. hours. <laughs> I never say anything about five hours or seven hours. <laughs> you do you do make up your own stuff right after mm -hmm. we told you what the answer is. But you know what? I, I like that you're I like that you're exploring other opportunity or uh, other possibilities. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you mad or do you just have to poop? <laughs> no, I would be potty dancing if I had to go potty. Okay. Yeah, so what that is is um, what we call a gradual release of responsibility. So um, you do that in teaching as well, especially in project-based learning, where you have this larger project. You've, you've got these complex skills. You, Yeah, you're good. I, I got this. Um, you have these complex skills. Uh, you you can't teach a really complex skill that's brand new to a bunch of students or your kids or whatever um, all at once. You you have to do it in bite sized chunks based on what is uh, you know developmentally accessible to them at the time, and then you have to let them work with those bite sized chunks, and then. Once they once they really understand those, then they can graduate up to doing uh, more complex tasks. And it's the same thing with uh, students in the classroom. It's the same thing with raising your own kids. Um, so like with doing the dishes with the little one, we started with just putting dishes away. And then once he got used to where everything goes, then, OK, let's work on loading up your dishes in the dishwasher. And then we from there, we went to, OK, now you can start taking dishes out and unloading the dishwasher um, all the way up to, you know, hey, get the little soap packet out from under the sink and put it in there. He knows how to run the dishwasher. Um, he's getting to the point he's getting stronger day by day where he can load in bigger and bigger dishes. He's getting better at organizing and making sure everything fits in without just kind of tossing it in, um, you know, willy nilly uh, and uh, really making good use of space. And now he knows not to run the dishwasher until it's all, you know, completely full. So there's still a few things that he doesn't know or, or that he isn't able to do, like some of the really, really heavy stuff. But he can almost load that dishwasher up all by himself. And we've only been working on it for like a few months, maybe maybe four or five months or something. That, I load that dishwasher up all by myself this morning. Yeah, I, I did some of it last night, but you know, still whatever. Um, I still help with help him with it um, in in some capacities, but that's that gradual release of responsibility that 
you, you don't want to do an entire task all at once. You do it in stages. You do it over time. And that's what really makes these like weekly chores so good for teaching kids responsibility and, uh, you know, these, these larger tasks is you give them just a little bit of the job at a time. Um, after a few weeks, they get good at it. And then you start giving them more and more of that job to do until, you know, before you know it, they're basically doing the whole thing themselves. Um, and I really like that these kids are setting goals, setting money goals. They're learning how to count their money. They're learning, um, they're learning the value of their, of their work, of their labor, um, so that they can appreciate the things that they get with what they're, uh, spending on with the money that they're spending. Uh, th that didn't come out right, but you know what I'm talking about anyway. All right, guys. Um, this is the second to last live stream. Hey folks, episode that we're doing tomorrow is going to be the last live one uh, because after that, it's pretty much my summer break. I would still like to do the Hey folks um, vlog, but we'll probably do it more of like a vlog video upload style. Um, I don't know. We're I I'm still working on uh, my backyard project. Uh, well, we're going to be working on backyard projects for a good while now. In fact, as soon as this is over, I'm heading out back to uh, film myself. Uh, working in the pit a little bit more and, um, yeah, yeah. Um, also, uh, if you want to see what I'm doing before my next video goes out, um, then, uh, you can check me out on Instagram. I think my, uh, link's down in the description there. So check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting like, uh, you know, reels and pictures of my works in progress. So, um, you know, if you want to see what I'm working on before the the project video comes out, then check out my Instagram. It's at Lauer Artworks, and you can find the link somewhere down below among all those affiliates. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow for episode 65, which is going to be the final morning live. Hey, folks, at least for the time being. Have a good one.